If it weren't for Dmitry Terzopoulos, we'd still be looking at animated characters like these. When they moved, their clothes remained stiff, like they were stuck or painted on, never moving independently. Dmitry's groundbreaking work, combining computer animation with fabric, changed all that by creating a way to simulate motion in clothing the same way it moves in real life. I, I see myself uh, fitting into the, the world of Hollywood as a scientist in the sense of creating the underlying machinery whereby which uh, more creative people um, can do the things that they want to do in animated films. Dimitri works in a world few of us can even comprehend. A mind-bending hybrid of mathematics, physics, and artificial intelligence applied to computer animation. At the beginning, uh, we weren't really interested in clothing creatures or clothing simulated humans. Uh, remember, this was work that was done approximately 20 years ago. What Dimitri and his team were interested in was simulating the motions and shape changes of objects like rubber, paper, and skin. It was 10 years before they thought about applying it to clothing on creatures. Computers in those days were actually more than a thousand times slower than they are today. So we couldn't get too ambitious with it. Dimitri's eureka moments came when he realized he could use physics to model not just the static shape of cloth, but also its movement and reaction to other forces. This simulation with the rug is an illustration of what are known as constraints. What they're doing is pre preventing the fabric from interpenetrating into these solid objects, an effect similar to what you have when you drape clothing over a human body. This simulation shows a deformable mesh that falls in gravity over this impenetrable sphere. The f individual fibers stretch, and you can see these nice tears running through the fabric. Dimitri gave us a hands-on demonstration. Another important aspect of simulating cloth in motion is the fact that cloth is immersed in air. For example, if I, if I now blow into the fabric, we see that that has an effect on the movement of the fabric. And all of these effects have to come together to, for the sake of realism. Dimitri's work was revolutionary. It was quickly adapted by the movie industry to create incredibly realistic images. The emotion I sense when seeing this technology uh, being applied in production work is a sense of excitement at the realism and also a certain sense of, I wish I'd done it myself. I think any, anyone whose magic is so great that you say, what was that? What was that? You feel admiration for them. And there's a lesson in Dimitri's story for all of you long-suffering math and science students out there. Had I known these sorts of things, that I would be much more motivated to learn mathematics and physics. So what does Dimitri see in the future for this technology? In the long run, I think artificial intelligence and computer simulation technologies will close the gap between virtual reality and physical reality. For now, though, Dimitri can take a great deal of pride in the fact that he is one of the true visionaries in bringing artificial reality to the big screen.